Let us joyfully begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us now humbly accept before our God all our failures and our sins, and ask for God's pardon. Lord Jesus, you were sent to him upon right of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, who came to all sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifests your almighty power, above all by pardoning and showing mercy, so we pray your grace abundantly upon us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes of dance and birds of the sky of nest, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord. But first, let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus answered him, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is faith for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, good evening. Good evening, Father. Magandang kami po sa inyong lahat. Pwede po, pakipati naman. Please greet the person next to you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening and welcome to our celebration. In this Eucharist today, we also have our first day of our novena, Nove in Italian. Five, nine days of prayer in preparation for the feast of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary come October 7. So let me just inform you of this uh, devotion. Where did it start? There was a battle, a war between the Christians and the Ottoman in the battle of the Panko and it ended with the Christians being the victorious. The war ended on October 7, 1571. That's 350 years or more. And Pope Pius V has studied has reflected, and on that day, Pope Pius, in thanksgiving to the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, made that pronouncement. And so since then, 350 or more years ago, the devotion to the Our Lady of Rosary has been given for all the world. So the devotion started there more than 300 years ago. So this celebration is a celebration of the church. It is a church activity. This is a program, shall we say, a liturgical program in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And so we are here today for our first day of the Nubina prayer. So my dear friends, in our guide, though it is in Tagalog, our reflection for this day or our theme for this day is about how to receive the will of the Lord. In our gospel, there are many people who want to follow the Lord. And the Lord calls, tumatawag po ang Panginoon sa bawat isa sa maibigan niya. But what is the answer when the Lord calls? The first person said, I will follow you, but there is the desire to follow, but let me bury my father first. What does it mean? Let me bury my father. Ayan yung 
Now let us do 